Hi guys, welcome to day two of Bolts and Bites Maker Academy Quarantine Craftopia. Today I'm going to show you a super easy project to make beautiful little flowers like this using a simple material like this. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna clear these out of the way and grab my example. Okay, so we are going to first need a toilet paper tube. You're probably gonna need some paints. Um, you're definitely gonna need some sort of glue. Um, Elmer's clear glue, Elmer's white glue, tacky glue, um, glue dots hot glue, whatever you're most comfortable with as your type of glue um, to make this project because trying to get these little guys to stick together is gonna require some good glue um, and you're gonna need some patience. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your toilet paper tube and paint it. This is one that I've already painted and um, I think it is way easier to paint the whole tube at one time rather than trying to paint each individual piece, which can get kind of tedious and take a long time. Whereas this was just super fast. I painted the inside, I painted the outside of it. Um, I let it sit for a little bit to dry and then I was able to move on to the next part, which was cutting it. So with your toilet paper tube, you wanna take it once you've painted it and flatten it out like this and make some marks. Um, some people just cut wherever they want to, and I've done that before, but sometimes you get some uneven cuts. Um, but if you measure out, you at least can kind of get the same cut and that way your flower. So I'm just measuring out every half inch right here on my toilet paper tube. And I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut along where my lines are. And because I flatten it, it's a little easier to cut. And once I've cut all those pieces, I get all of these nifty little pieces, which we're then going to put together like this to create a flower. And what you basically do is I've been using the Elmer's clear glue and I'm gonna put a little clear glue on one side of it right there and stick this guy to it and take a clothespin or a paper clip will completely work in a pinch. Um, if just so you don't have to hold it for so long and that'll hold your two pieces together while they're drying. Um, I, you could make flowers out of um, several different pieces. You could add six parts to your flower. Um, I am working with a five part flower. So once you've put all your pieces together, you get this beautiful five part flower. Um, I just happen to have some uh, sticky dot um, glittery pieces laying around and I use those to stick in the middle of my flower. But you could take a piece of paper. Um, I try cutting um, dots out with a hole punch, but they're a little too small to fit in the center. So you could, you know, cut your own circle out if you're really good at cutting circles out, or it could just be kind of a fun circle. I don't know. And put that in the center as well. Um, but I kind of like the glittery dots. And I also used a skewer to hold my flowers, which you don't have to do. I've seen people attach them um, to paper and hang them up or frame them, but you could also use glue or a sticky dot, or this is where the hot glue might come in handy, to stick your, um, your skewer onto your flower or onto the back of your flower. Um, to paint the skewer green, I basically took a little green paint and a paper towel, and instead of having to paint it with a paintbrush, I just rubbed the green paint on with um, my paper towel piece. Um, it's a little bit messy, but it works really well, and I can put as much or as little paint on it as I'd like to, 
in order to get my flower shape. Um, I do want to show you, you can take your flower shape and this is five different ways that I have seen or that I've played with that um, you can make your flower um, different or special. Um, one of the ways is to take the, the little piece that we've cut and to pop it up into the middle like that and that gives you um, more of a piece inside your piece um, or you can take it and cut it so take one piece cut it into two pieces and you can take like this one right here where I've taken two pieces glued them together and created a cute little shape like that you can also just take a piece fold it in half and put that inside one of those pieces. Um, that works really well. Or you can take one of those smaller pieces that you've cut and also place it inside the piece just to create something different. Um, you could just use this piece right here in the center of it and glue it to the bottom of it. Uh, hot glue may be a good way to go with that just so you have enough base on it to um, use it. And yeah, that is a great way to make these lovely little flowers. Pretty simple project, um, very fun, and they make a great springtime flower garden just in case your flowers aren't growing yet. So I hope you enjoyed this craft, and um, we'll be back tomorrow with something new. Thanks!